most people would come down here and just say, hey, I'm so-and-so with whatever, I'm just here doing this. Hey, sir, do you have any comments about uh, an alleged chlorine spill? I don't like people coming onto the plant and, and not telling me what's going on. Just trying yeah. to figure out who you are? Oh, yeah, I'm kind of a private guy. I prefer not to give my identity, but... I'll just call the cops and have okay. them. Hey, I'm just... If, if you're here doing it, I can't... I can't these guys don't want to talk to you, obviously, because they don't know what's going on. Free. It's February 20th, 2024. I'm in the town of Buckley, Pierce County, Washington State. I'm heading here because I got tips and leads about some sort of like a chlorine leak or a chlorine leak that is on the cusp of occurring and leaking into two basins that are supposedly nearby the Wolf's Legal in Wickersham Basin. So I'm here to actually check that out, see if that's actually the case. Uh, while well, I've got your attention, if you wouldn't mind liking, sharing, and subscribing, hitting that all notifications bell so you can get the stories right when they come out. And you can look to X, formerly Twitter, to follow me there at I Am Free Auditing. If you'd like to help keep my feet on the streets, you can do so by going to the links in the description and looking for the Cash App and Venmo links there. Apparently, over there we can see i'm pointing there is a, a basin the wolf's legal w-o-l-s legal l-e-g-a-l and over there in that direction is the wickersham basin and the allegations like i said are that there's a potential leak of uh the of, of chlorine or, or some other hazardous material. I was told chlorine. What's that? I said, what can I do you for? Oh, I'm good. I appreciate the offer though. Well, who are you? Oh, uh, pretty private person. Don't like to usually give out my name. Well, I, I don't like people coming on to the plant and and not tell me what's going on i can appreciate that you may not like that okay all right i'll just call the cops and have okay. them all right sounds good uh what was your name by the way are you an employee here not an employee all right I was wondering if you happen to know, have heard of within the last one to two months of any sort of a chlorine leak or anything like that? That's the wrong, I mean, you're asking the wrong guy in the wrong department. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, but have you visited the boss yet? Yeah, he's just an extraordinarily angry man. So oh. he's calling the cops right now. So yeah, I know it's this horrific felony I'm committing right now. I don't know what it is, but. <laughs> well, that's I guess for you and the cops. I guess so. <laughs> All right, take care guys. Oh, uh, actually, sorry, one last question. If I'm correct, over there, over my shoulder, that's the Wolf's Legal Basin, is that right? I have, I've never heard that term before. Or the Wickersham Basin? I've heard Wickersham Basin. Okay, and I believe that's kind of over in that direction? I agree. Okay. I do believe so, yeah. All right, cool. Between that cheese and Mason, that corner. Gotcha. That's okay. Mason. I don't know if this is included in that or not. Uh, yeah, from what I heard, there's a, uh, like separated by a chunk of land. There's a basin over here called the Wolf's Legal, and then the Wickersham. So, and that's kind of what I'm looking into with some 
chlorine and that kind of thing. So. Gotcha. Sounds like you know a lot more than I do. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm only going off of information I was given. And so, I mean, I actually have no idea what you guys do for a living other than keep water treated. So. There you go. <laughs> Take care. there at least uh, I did get confirmed though that um, the Wickersham basin is over in that direction so it does mean the layout that I have here at least in my head is correct so what I'm looking for at this point is basically something that would be coming, I think, out of those tanks or whatever in that direction. I don't think it would be over there towards the Wolf's Legal. It just seems like the direction of, well, I shouldn't say direction, but the proximity of these tanks appear to almost lend themselves more credibly going towards, uh, the Wickersham Basin. So that's kind of where I'm thinking. Now, the thing is, is right off the bat, if there was chlorine, I mean, I would imagine you would smell it significantly. And from my having walked around looking, um, I don't smell any chlorine. So yeah, and it looks like that construction equipment over there might be the one place that it, it could be. That appears to be closest to the Wickersham, um, closest to the Wickersham Basin. But I can't really tell. That's the, that, that is interesting where there's that construction over there. It does make me wonder, but I don't know enough about this um, equipment or the fluids. I mean, it really smells ripe, <laughs> like sewage basically. So I don't know. This I think would be what's called mixed liquor. How are you doing? Good. Good. What's up? Oh, nothing. The treatment guys said you were walking around the property. Just trying yeah. to figure out who you are. Oh, yeah. I'm kind of a private guy. I prefer not to give my identity, but just working on something. And, and what you working on? I can't share that now. Uh, basically, I'm in the middle of a project, though. Once I'm done with it, I'd happy to get like a business card or something. I could let you know, email you. Yeah. Well, no, I'm just, I mean, you're in a mask. They're concerned. They didn't. It doesn't seem like it's, you know, most people would come down here and just say, hey, I'm so-and-so with whatever, I'm just here doing this. Yeah, I mean, the best I could 
tell you, it'd be like, unfortunately, because what I'm working on, if I shared too much, it might bias responses from people. Like, I spoke with a couple of employees down there, and I got pretty natural responses. So, if I were to kind of lead into it more, my concern is I would start getting biased or false information. So I just need to, like I said, work on getting this uh, project wrapped up. And, you know. The city workers, that would, but they don't have to talk to you. Oh, sure. Of course yeah, they don't. Right? Yeah, right? And oh, so they're, they're just asking. They don't, they don't know who you are. If you're not willing to identify yourself, they don't want to talk to you. Yeah, and that's, you know, obviously they're right. Certainly not going to, you know. Yeah. I'm, I have no ill will or not looking to Perfect. do anything bad or anything like that. Just, yep, just trying to work. Okay. And so what does that work entail? Uh, just video and still photo image of of the plant and okay. the, the grounds and whatnot. Yeah. Have you done that already, or? Uh, I've got part of it. I'm still actually kind of investigating, looking into it. And what are you investigating, looking into? Uh, I wish I could tell you. Uh, you know, like I said, I'd be happy to tell you afterwards because it'd make a lot more sense then. I just don't want any information getting out and spoiling perhaps what I'm working on, so people can try to cover it up. Are you a freelance reporter? What are, what do you do? For yeah, kind of something in that sort of general direction. Yeah, okay. yeah. I just you work for you self employed. You work for yourself. Or do you work for a company? Uh, yeah, I work for an entity. You work for an entity. Yeah, but I, I guess I just don't understand. It's might might be helpful for us to know kind of what you're doing out here because well, we are you. city employees as well. Sure. And I, so I, I'll tell you this: it has to do with this and the Wolf's Legal and the uh, Wickersham basins so this facility in those two basins this facility and, and so and then the the wolf's legal basin over there and the wickersham basin over there oh okay yeah so do you work for an environmental agency no absolutely not and i'm also not like an environmental journalist or anything like okay that. so yeah nope. okay i just i'm working on something that has to do with this and those two basins okay it's really kind of all i feel comfortable giving out at this point Okay. Well, the guys in there, they called. They don't want to talk to you, so you don't need to go in there because... Well, I do need to get a PRR form from them. When they're What's a PRR form? Oh, sorry, public records request form. You can get that at the police department. The, all public records requests go through the police department. So you can come to our police department, and we can get you a... If you're looking for public... What public records are you looking for? They don't have public records here. They would have them down at City Hall. So all records related to wastewater treatment, stuff like that, would be maintained by the city hall. Oh, so you'd have to go down to city hall to maintain those, to get uh, okay. to get a copy of that. Well, I mean, that is odd that he wouldn't provide a PR form. It's pretty simple. But. They We will provide a pre PR form, but that's done down at city hall. They don't have them here in the treatment plant itself. Huh. Yeah. Okay. So. All right. Well, uh, I mean, you got a business card, by the way? I do you have a business card. Cool. Hold on one second. Yep. Pre uh, appreciate you being cordial. Yep. Yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm chief police, so. Kurt, uh, I'm yep. Steve. Steve? Yeah. Okay, you, you didn't want to identify yourself, well, so. you know, I mean, you're being nice and cordial and all that. Hey, I'm just, if if you're here doing it, I can't, I can't these guys don't want to talk to you, obviously, because they don't know what's going on. Sure. You know, it's a little bit suspicious. Like, I'm not wearing sunglasses and a mask and anything. And like I said, I don't know what you're doing. You could, you could, you, whatever you're doing, but. It is this. It's the city property, and if sure. they don't hold public records here, if you've got your photos and everything else, you can go up to city hall and obtain obtain a public records request. I don't know what records you're looking for. Yeah. In particular, but well, they, and, they may and, have them. They may not. Yeah, and that's going to be based on you know my work here today. So when I'm done, I'll have a better idea of like exactly what kind of records I'll need to request. I don't fully understand yet, so it's mostly just kind of finishing that out. Okay. So. All right. By the way, first time to Buckley. Nice little town here. Oh, okay. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, these guys are, like I said, they're not going to talk. So, I mean, we are going to hang out because it is a little bit different sure. that someone's requesting to, to videotape our stuff. I'm not going to trespass you or do anything like that. You have a right to, to do certain things. As long as you're cordial with me, I'll be good with you. Sure. You can get on your way. Golden you, rule, you, right? Yep. That's that's it. That's the what that's it. <laughs> it's so terrible if that everybody nowadays. Everybody used to be nice. Yeah, it's so terrible nowadays. Like you see people just starting off on a really bad note. You know, it's like, why's it got to be like that? You know. It's yeah. Just, no, it's, I'm not. Like I said, you know, I uh, obviously I'd like to know what you're doing, but you're not sure. offering that information. So, 
I'm well, not going to pull What I'll it out. do is I've got your business card. When I'm done with this and um, I've got an idea of what I need to do and, and also do for a records request, uh, I'm happy to email you uh, a link to the story when I've got it all done Perfect. and that kind of stuff. And that way you can take there it. There you go. It I, might I, actually, in a sort of a scant, you know, way be interesting to you, uh, you know, depending on what I'm finding. I mean, you know, as a you know, police officer in the city and whatnot. Oh, yeah. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. You know, you yeah. can take all, you can always take a look and be like, yay or nay. I don't know. <laughs> it's a sewer treatment plant, so. Well, yeah, you know, I thought that and actually I, I, I wouldn't have been here had yeah. something else not popped up in a tip and a lead that I got. Okay. And when it came up, um, I was like, huh. And looked into something elsewhere in the state regarding this kind of a facility and it kind of made me go this is weird and i dug back through my folder of tips and leads i was like my gosh like four months ago or three I think gotcha so, yeah yeah so so as long as you're not bothering the guys oh. none of them want to talk and just don't enter into the facility buildings i've been asking not oh, to trespass sure. on the yeah, buildings well, I'm, i have no business in those buildings okay so. perfect yeah it's all really just kind of in this area from what i can tell okay so all right yeah all right uh, appreciate I you man do have Thanks. one question for you sure I'm, i would imagine you would know um my understanding is over here is the wicker sham basin and then there's a piece of land that separates it from what is called the wolf's legal basin which is over that one all beyond the fence have you ever heard of any sort of like environmental spill hazard based occurrence here no in the last several months no no i haven't actually okay. um i can tell you this is city property which obviously our sewer treatment plant drains in yeah. back into the river but all that area there used to be puget sound energy now it's owned by the cascade water alliance Cascade Water Alliance is uh, multi, multi uh, cities up there. They're, they are in the process or wanting to bottle water or put water up you know, up into King County. Yeah, I had I had I had heard that that alliance was involved on that side, which is why when I kind of pieced a couple things together and decided to come on over this way to look into what I'm, I'm looking into, I thought that would be interesting if the issue that i'm looking into which again i'm happy to share with you when i'm done depending on what i do or do not find sure could affect that because boy that would not be good potentially <laughs> yeah i don't know i like i said i it used to be owned by psc and then it was bought out obviously the flume and the river drain into lake taps lake yep. taps is a man-made lake they used to produce psc owned it they produced the hydroelectric power out of it. Sure. PSC, PSC got out of that game. It's too expensive. Mm -hmm. They sold the Cascade Water, Water Alliance. Now they own Lake Taps and the rights to everything else. Cascade Water Alliance. Fair enough. So. Well, I appreciate that. All right, man. All right, Kurt. Well, look. Yeah. Hope you have a good day. Okay, you too. Thanks. See ya. see anything i'm gonna take a look further over in that direction over there my understanding is there's a break point there's some land over here that separates the basin the wickersham basin from the wolf's legal basin over there so and you know as i've said many times um the the chlorine would really stand out so I'm really uncertain as to what this alarm is. These don't seem like they'd be the kinds of barrels for chlorine. I could be wrong. Hey, sir, do you have any comments about uh, an alleged chlorine spill? Any comments? You seem very concerned when I came onto the property and it's seeming more and more that that may be the concern that you have. Any comments?
Nice trucks, by the way. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. You don't see a lot of those. Yeah. Um, well, we often are up in the hills. And I was going to ask, that kind of makes a bit of sense. I mean, this far out, you know, you start getting this close to Mount Rainier and everything, you probably get some... We're helping the Forest Service guys. We're helping the game guys. Wow. So we're up in, yeah, we're always up running around back there for something, so... Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, so now that I've kind of taken a look around and, as you said, he's unwilling to answer right. any questions. Yeah, they're just workers. Are you yeah. uh, familiar with any sort of a chlorine spill? I am not. That doesn't I'd, sound familiar at all. No, not to me. No, I, and I would like... I would imagine you'd know because it'd probably just go around the city if nothing else. Yeah, and, and I don't... Was it into one of the basins or... Well... The person that gave me the tip in the lead was careful to say it didn't go into, but they were concerned that it was going to go into. And so was they, it an ongoing? Was the lead an ongoing thing that like the city of Buckley was leaking it, or no? They didn't even say necessarily who it was, but they said that it was basically back along the line because that's closest to the uh, the basins. And now I don't know. I'm going to look into this because I took some some photos back there. But there's, and I don't know if these are the right containers or not. So I just want to be clear about that. But behind that, uh, sorry, behind that building right there, there's a couple of large 55 gallon drums that are on their side. And I was told somewhere along that back fence there was like allegedly some sort of dumping, okay. spilling, something like that. Again, now chlorine really smells. Yeah, you'd be able to smell yeah, it. Yeah, so right? I find it hard to believe that those two would be it. And you know, I don't know what the ground looks like when it's contaminated with it if it changes Correct. colors right so i have no idea i'm going to look into that more myself i don't also don't know if there's sort of like an anti-agent to like make chlorine go gotcha. away so i'm going to look into that but there were some barrels back there like i was told that there would be but again no smell and anyone have said have been in a pool yeah and i don't <laughs> i don't know you know and don't get, i'm a cop i don't work on sewer treatment i don't sure, know sure. i don't even know if they deal with chlorine i have you could I couldn't tell you how they treat. Same here. I don't know how it works. Yeah. I'm just kind of starting to get into this. And it's sort of gotcha. like a distant tip associated with another uh, treatment plant that I had gone to a while back. And it was kind of like as a the, the plant manager was really cool, showed me around, explained to me how a lot of it works with like that the brown fluid is actually called mixed liquor when it gets thick, and he was explaining all this sort of stuff to gotcha. me. And it was as a consequence of this tip and lead that made me kind of reflect back and go. That sounds kind of something like what that guy was saying a while back. Huh. And so it kind of added more veracity to this. I'm not really still feeling like it's necessarily a thing. but Yeah, I don't know. You know, there's two treatment plants that feed into, there's the Enoquah treatment plant as well, right? Which is right across the river about two miles up. Interesting. Right off, it's, it's right off the highway. Okay. You can't miss it. It looks like this, but it's literally right off it's right Highway off 410 on the left-hand side yeah, as you okay. come into the city of Minnesota. So I don't know. If, I don't know. Um, the, I don't, we wouldn't have it. There could be because there's three. There's three treatment plants that dump into the river, but it's all regulated by the Muckleshoot Tribe and everything else. And, you know, they're all. I just don't know a whole lot about. Yeah, it. and that's what's weird to me is too that. Um, so one of the things I learned is that the Department of Ecology in the state they, takes daily reports from these plants. Mm -hmm. And they've got three levels of parsing that they do through di three different stages of removal. So gotcha. like a big chunky one and then it gets finer and finer. And so my understanding is that as things move to the final filter and filter that out, there's really virtually nothing to get through apparently except for a couple of things. I cannot remember the names of them. I've got them on video. but. Um, that are, are that are a problem, but rarely show up, is my understanding. And so what I was thinking was, is you know, if in if in order to avoid the filtration system dumping was occurring on a back line, that would be one way to avoid it. Mm. But I don't know if that stuff gets filtered out. So like I said, I'm just kind of starting in on this. Gotcha. So I don't really uh, know it like these guys do, of course. So you're kind of are like a freelance journalist then. I am. Oh, I don't mind telling you that now. Yeah, yeah I, I walked through I just, you know, you seem like a great guy, Kurt. I, but sometimes, yeah. sometimes you go to places and you find out yeah. after the fact that you get you got burnt because you believed somebody to be a nice guy and they turned no. out to be a terrible guy or whatever. Oh, no. So, not saying that's you, 
Just, nope. Uh, like I said, I'm only here because they called and we're good to go. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I tried to explain to the guy it's publicly available space and. You know, I'm not you know, going to go into the building. They do and all close that. at five o'clock, so everybody's got to be out of. There you go. When Time, they place, manner restrictions. Yep. But yep. yeah, there, there you go. Yeah. Oh yeah. Not looking to break the law. Trying to stay on the right side of things okay. and all that. So. Understand. Anyways, well, hey, Kurt. Again, really nice meeting you, man. Yeah. You too. Take care. You have a good day. Okay. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, that's it here at the wastewater treatment plant.